Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Wake Up Bright where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Lauren and I am on a journey to lose a lot of weight and right now I'm on a journey to bring calmness and peace and organization to our home and we started with a project for my husband's office on my little list of home projects. Here's my little list of home projects. So I thought it would be fun to share with you how we redid this sofa I found on Facebook Marketplace for $75. And then after I share that with you, I will show you his office as it is now, our plans for it, and then kind of take you through room by room and talk about the home projects that I will be working on this month and 100% they're gonna carry over and hopefully we'll have more projects as I get this initial run of things done. So I really need some good organization and then we just need to figure out what exactly we want to do and what makes sense. So I, there's like some wild things that I would love to do but at the same time, it's like, is it practical for us to do that now? Is it practical for us to do it at all? Is it stuff that we would need to undo in the future? So let's get started. We are headed to look at this sofa that I found on Marketplace. Pretty excited about it. We have not, we painted my husband's office last summer. And you never told him which color it was. I never told him what color it was. I did too. Oh, yeah. I did too. Oh, okay. well, it's green. I'll just show y'all later. <laughs> That's very underwhelming. We also hung floating shelves, but he just won his competition. Yes, I did. And he's got all these trophies and coins and we need to make his office a place for him to, to show it all off. So we're gonna go look at this couch. Hopefully it's awesome. Needs a little work, but I'm gonna do it and Well, the hubs loved it. I it found it, had a good find, huh? Yeah, no, it's a great find, it just needs work. Yeah, buy some conditioner, cleaner stuff for it, and then some dye stuff, really dye, it's like a darkening oil. So, I will share that with you, and then at some point I'll need to sand like along the edges and restain. I bought a wood repair kit off of Amazon, and I'll link that down below. I'll link everything we use down below. This was the first time I filmed doing anything like this, so I did not do the best job of doing a good before of the entire couch or anything. I was also quite sick. We started working on the sofa. So the first thing we did was clean the wood and then I bought a stain and kit and then I bought a paint pen. It was really good. It wasn't perfect. Um, so if you get super up, if you get up close or in really harsh lighting, you can definitely see a lot of the places we repaired, but for the most part, you can't. And if we get to a point where we're more settled and not going to be moving, then what I'll do is completely sand this wood down and refinish it that way, which I don't think it's a bad idea to do that, but we want to be somewhere be somewhere and be a little settled. I did end up taking the legs inside and we watched the movie 13 Lives. And while we were watching that, I worked on each of the legs, which they all had quite a bit of damage. So just worked on that. Then a few days later, we mixed alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, Dawn soap and water. And then we worked on a few different paint, not paint, but pin spots. So my husband worked on the one on the arm of the chair and I worked on this one below. These were by far the worst. Um, so these were the ones that took quite a bit of time for us. And after we cleaned this and then a few other smaller spots, um, what we did was we got the actual cleaning stuff that came in the kit and we cleaned the all of the leather and so you'll see that in just a second and i was pretty impressed just with the cleaning it and then doing this so without like doing the conditioning balm without recoloring it and it already started to look really good and we probably should go through and recolor it a few more times to try and even out some of the spots so I don't know if it's from like past times it was cleaned or what but there is some unevenness and you'll see that in the after photos at the end of the video um, so I go back up in my husband's vlog my husband's office at the end of this vlog and show you all a little bit more so you can jump around if you'd like to but this is that leather cleaner 
And so we just tag teamed it. I loved to this whole project my husband and I did together. I wasn't expecting that. Like I found the couch and I was, wasn't sold that he was gonna love it. And I was like, if you don't want this couch, then I wanna get this couch for a living room because I just loved the sofa. I thought it was such a good find and it was only $75 and so we did it. And then once we got it and got all of the stuff to work on it, he was very excited to work on it with me. So it was a fun project for us to do together. And we just had a lot of fun. So this is the darkening gel. And we did for most of the spots on the couch, we only had to do one coat and one coat was more than enough. And a couple places we did multiple coats. And then there were some that, like I said earlier, could use a few more coats. So we'll see how that goes in the future. So, and the one coat changed the color of the leather so much. It looks like a completely different sofa. I will share before and after photos where I go on to sharing all of our projects and things that I want to work on over the next few months and that the projects and things that I'm going over in this video is not a full list because I also plan on doing the garden and doing different things like that and not all of the videos will be this specific. I think most of the videos I'm going to interlace the home projects just within my vlogs and things. I've thought about posting more on my home channel. We absolutely love, love, love the way this sofa turned out. It's so beautiful and I just, it's great. It was a great find. I love the details and the woodwork. I love the shape and the lines. I just think it's a really beautiful couch and I'm excited, excited for it. And my husband and I are going to move this up into his office and I will show it to you again upstairs. Up underneath mama are you always right up underneath me yes you are sweet thing okay so i also patched some holes here they had some big big nails here and so i just went ahead and took them out and patched it and then i can just lift you up there so as you can see it looks pretty rough. Now, once I sand it down, if I can get it really flush, depending on how it looks, we are debating. So we have curtains here and curtains there. We are debating just doing the blinds. So we thought about doing that. I did get some dark blue curtains that will sit a little higher than these curtains. And we're gonna, we're gonna put them up and see. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about like the dark, dark curtains though. I kind of prefer lighter curtains and my husband likes darker ones. And we have these silver ones, but I didn't wanna buy silver. I don't know, this is really stupid. So I love, I love the silver curtains, but I really like to just do white curtains since our walls are white. I don't know why, but that's been on my mind to just do white. But our pups will rub against them and get them dirty. And so I'm like, I don't wanna do white for that reason. Then, we have more, basically all of the walls. I still need to pull some nails out and patch where the nails are. So we'll do that in just a minute. But you can really see on 
this wall. They patched it before and they don't have this paint color anywhere. Like I'm sure they have the paint color at the store, but they don't have the color for me to get it matched. And so there's still, if there's a will, there's a way we can find a match, but it may come down to me painting the entire blue wall. Also, if we do away with the curtains in there, we'll probably do away with the curtains in here too, or at least, I don't know, each little part will just cover so it's private. And then I keep the curtains out there closed. The thing I do like about curtains though, and I feel like we need is the sound blocking. So if I get thicker, like all of the curtains that we have right now are, they're not thin thin, but in this living area, they're not thick. These are thin, like these are sheer. You can just see right through them. Do we wanna go out? The first area that's gonna get painted is in here. I really like to do a crazy wallpaper, like in this area right here, just like a happy, like bold wallpaper that maybe has like a dark navy so it corresponds with everything else. I don't think we're gonna do that, but I also wanna take this hook thing down just cause it, when you walk in here, I feel like you're walking into storage. I feel like it could and should be like inviting. That's why I was thinking like the bold wallpaper. I was just thinking like peel and stick. I wouldn't actually put permanent wallpaper up, um, but I don't know. Also, this area is just so nicked and like just the walls are stained. This is always the first place that my husband comes into when he comes home. So I would like for it to be very inviting. I use the front door more than the garage. Well, it's not the first place I always come into. But if it was, I would still just, I would want it to be like, you know, like, a, ah, I'm home. And then on the list two is our laundry room situation. I would like to take this shelf out and probably put this shelf over our toilet in our master bathroom um, and then put in some floating shelves, probably about yay high. I don't know. I'll have to think about that because we do have a top load washer. So this will be gone and then better utilize this space over here. So for that, I was thinking that there are things that I would like for us to store here, like all of the tools that we have collect here. I have a bunch of cleaning stuff in here. For the most part, I would like to move the cleaning stuff into the closet under the stairs because I like putting our vacuums in there. Like I don't, this is such an open space. The vacuum stuff would take up too much room. And then just have storage for like paper towels, toilet paper, our medicines and stuff are in here, like cough syrup and that type of stuff, like stuff that we don't use all of the time. Um, the pups medicine and stuff is in here. I would like to get some sort of situation, maybe like here. If I did like a big cabinet, but realistically, and I may even just use this right here and put it like right there and have just two draw. I'm just like, thank goodness, like the pups weren't over there because they ran that direction and I was like, no. <laughs> and they, they, they listen. I mean, they are really good babies, huh? Let's patch some holes and then we're gonna finish this video out. There was a moment I was thinking about The time and the place The strange and the difficult new The feeling of existing at the same time Trying our best to make sense of the love that we knew Change. 
Which is undeniable But the difference with us Is the radiant flame that we grew You could see it through the atmosphere But it bright through the night To show us a heavenly view like such a good smelling candle. It is the Capri Blue. Um, I used to have to get them at Anthropology, but now I got that one at Belk a long time ago. Uh, it was a long time ago. I think it was like our, it was like my birthday or something. My Anyway, anyway. So I have not done these, but I will. This um, stairwell gives me anxiety. Those are not, that specific part does not, but it's like once I start on the stairs, I want to do it all. So luckily the walls in this main area are good. The walls in here, you can't even see. One of my lovely subscribers who also has a YouTube channel, she gave me this, she mailed it to me. Um, and I always hang it up. And then my niece drew this, she was really young. Here's the husband's office. I um, I also thought about painting the back wall of the stairwell like a really dark. This couch just looks so freaking good. Here it is in all its glory. Yep. There it is. Tippy, do you love the couch? Do you love it? Yeah, you're not allowed on daddy's couch, huh? So. It just looks beautiful. Just like you, Tippy. You look beautiful. He won. NCO of the year. So proud of him, he's amazing. With that, he was presented with lots of coins, which is, it's a military tradition. Mom, as a gift for winning, is going to get him a coin case. So he's gonna put that up on this wall right here. And then he got some certificates and things for that as well. And then on his shelves, on the floating shelves, he is, wanting to do brass like decor like decor like little brass figurine i don't not figurines but like, it's not gonna be sturdy for like book books and if it was he doesn't have a lot of books i have the books and they're not like pretty books to display i guess i got those old ones i don't know if i ever told you all about that because i didn't never i did vlog i vlogged my last few days in Alabama, but I never put together a vlog 
but we went to an estate sale and I got these books. They are so old. They're really old. And then my favorite thing about them is they, um, let me show you. So it's got all of these notes. It's got a news article. The notations are very old from like the late 18, early 1900s. And so I just love, I'm able to see, I think it was his, it was one of his relatives who had these books, who the inscriptions are from. And so it was an estate sale, so this gentleman had passed away, which was sad, but he had a very beautiful story just from looking at the things in the state cell. Most estate cells are not like that. So we went to like four estate cells and this is the only one that like, I was actually like, this is really interesting. But he had like the small thing and it was from India. It wasn't like a trunk or anything. Um, he had this bookend I really wanted to get for my husband. Now I'm really kicking myself because it would have been perfect. Um, it was this clear stone, clear L shape. And then it had an eagle wing coming off of the side, like the back of it. And on the eagle wing, there was this guy, it looked like he was like riding or surfing rather this, like through the air on this eagle's wings and outstretched was his hand. And he was carrying this woman with him and it was just beautiful. It was beautiful, like she was flying and I don't know. It was just, I, I really love so many things. I should have bought that. I'm chickening out, so I was going to hang the curtains. And I'm a good at hang, I'm handy. Teenage years, I did a lot of outdoor work, like painting fences, painting my grandpa's barn. Um, and when I say painting fences, I mean, <laughs> it was lot of land that he had leased and so he leased this land in this barn and um he did all of this repair work to it and i got to do lots of handiwork <laughs> which was good for me it was so good <laughs> okay beautiful people i am going to end this vlog here i hope that you enjoyed a very different type of vlog for me today i'm very excited about my home projects i um I definitely enjoyed taking you along. If I could to talk through some of the things out loud to someone, which is you, <laughs> even though you couldn't reply back, but you can drop things in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts on the curtains downstairs. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for you and your encouragement along my journey and just as I, as I share things here on the YouTubes. And if you want to follow along, click that subscribe button, ding the bell, and I will see you next time.